the character knowledge, they both actually do know a little bit more. Oh yeah, I feel like these guys both know their character really well. Yes. Like Yellow Joe, very good Nash. Uh, Coach Steve also very good, but maybe the matchup against each other, who knows how well they know it. Uh, I think probably their strategy might be just spamming their advantage, try to win the very first two games. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it's going on first. Okay, so it looks like Coach Steve, Steve is player one. Let's see general matchup if Birdie need to throw some cannon, a banana against um, Nash too. Alright, so Joe in the beginning still want to throw some Sonic Boom in the beginning. Nice follow up with a Mooncake Assault. Follow up with four affairs. And um, Steve is playing very slow pattern and um, right now he's trying to eat some donut, gain some V meters. That's minus five in the, in the farthest distance is difficult to punish. So Joe still throwing some Sonic Boom from the Mon Moon Assault. Nice jump, but cannot be punished. Active V trigger. That's quite safe, but you know, in that distance, uh, Bird is going to do a low jet punish. Try to make a guess, but it's okay, it's safe. And one of the best advantage for Nash is he has a reversal, V reversal to get out of the situation. Nice anti air by Joe. Joe's looking really clean right now. And and birdie jump is quite floating too, like Nash Fireball like recover so fast, it's very hard to jump off unless you anticipate that. So um Steve still like testing if his slide can be doing some damage over Joe over there. Ah Sally Boom recover so fast. Looks Steve has no clue how to get in yet. Can he actually get a, a guess a, a EX dive kick like oh, cut off guard the Sonic booms? Maybe. The thing is that Joe mixes up really well between the boom, jump round house, yes. pressing kick, right? And if you guess anti air, oh that was that was his chance. Nice, nice. armor. Oh uh, he eat he eat that donut. Too long and Joe just teleported in and punished. I think he went for a can roll. He I went for a can roll. Okay. So okay. the 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 donut eat that one has the least amount of recovery. Okay. That one recovers really that fast. But weird. the the banana and the can roll, you can react to them full screen. Understand? Yeah. So let's say Nash, you can teleport. If you're Rashid, you can do eagle kick. I react okay. if you think he'll do it, and you Understand. can stuff him. Things like that. Okay. So Steve is thinking about the matchup right now. Mm -hmm. Joe took the first game. Good stuff, Joe. All right. If uh, in my opinion, uh, for Birdie, right? It looks like um, can he actually do the armor move that on a close range to get um armor move to absorb the. Uh, you talking about uh, towards fierce? Yeah, the, the armor, armor move. move. That move is really good. I don't know if Joe has like a two hit way to stop it. I think that maybe Steve is afraid of it getting blocked because you yeah, know like I'm blocked. Maybe he's safe. scared if he absorbed the Sonic Boom he would get back fears or something like that for a follow up. Maybe, I don't know. But you're right that he should maybe try to use his armor a little bit just to stop Yeah, the armor move, be at least after you block the Sonic Boom, if you close range, you can try to get an armor move coming up and you can absorb some forward fears follow up and get hit by that. Mm -hmm. After that, probably you're going to guess, guess a EF dive jump. Uh, dive grab. Round Let's one. see how Steve gonna deal with this match right now. Slowly walking. It's so good, like his anti air is out of out of throwing silent boom. I think that's the toughest part of this match is both nice. characters have a good anti air, right? Birdie has crouch MP, which yes. always works against Nash. It and Coach Steve actually throwing a very best timing for the chain to call off guard Sonic Boom. He needs to crouch MP those crescents, man. Joe's definitely getting away with that. Nice. nice. One of the armor move again. He tried to do again, but it's not working. That, I, I just that. see that and punish it with the Beat teleport. Trigger, yep. Yes. And uh, Steve is losing a lot of life right now. Nice. So actually, that means if Sonic Boom comes up, 
your best option is only can block because any reaction you does, Nash already have solution on it because every recovery frame is ridiculous. I think that Steve is doing some of the right stuff, but those those V trigger punishes from Jelly Joe that has mattered a lot. Actually, for Birdie to walk block, walk block, it's hard because his walk speed is not that fast. You're right, and he still wants to get close. Ah, nice oh, my goodness, he's wrecking him right now. Steve has to be careful. Yeah, sometimes he had to forward dash too. Like nice you have to like randomly forward dash in order you to get a closer distance. Okay, activate combo. Nice. You're gonna catch him in the. Don't let me no, teleport. Of course he's oh, gonna do that. Of course. He didn't bait he the overhead, v right? Yeah. He didn't bait the V trigger a single time. And of course, whenever Nash is scared, he's always gonna do Alpha counter or V trigger. That's right away. He'll always do that yes. when he's scared. It is hard. Yeah. yeah. And we have Sonic Fox against Cham for the next match. Should be another good one. I don't know if Cham can recover from the last battle. That his momentum is still here. <laughs> yeah, you're right. He got uh, he had a rough set against Kane Blue Ever in Grand Finals of Marvel. See, he smile right now. He humble now. <laughs> All right. So PG's Filipino champ and his opponent coming to the stage shortly. It's gonna be Sonic Fox. Sonic Fox, I think he is the only uh, Fang player in this top 16, if I'm not mistaken. You know what? Sonic Fox actually does have chain in with Arturo Sanchez. Ah, so there's a story behind this, and it's kind of weird, right? Uh, Sonic Fox knew that his first match would be Filipino champ. So the oh first boy. person he went to right away was Arturo, and he boy. said, Arturo, you're my friend. Please help me. I want to beat Filipino champ really okay. bad, right? But Arturo's thing is that he doesn't want to teach Sonic Fox too much about how okay. to beat Dawson because he may have to fight Sonic Fox and win his And bracket. actually, Sonic Fox is a fast learner, too. If yeah, you he's tell big. him too much trick, he's he really want to learn all of them. So definitely, everything that he taught Sonic Fox, he has to be aware that Sonic Fox... You know how Sonic Fox is serious later. right now? He took off his Sonic head. <laughs> you're right, you're Even right. Even in his MKX battle, he never...